try with your victory. First attempt. Thank you, Kate Devalley, Baron Neely, representing the Eastside Barbell. <laughs> Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit y'all another video. Hope y'all having a very great day. Hope y'all having a very great week. My day is going absolutely marvelous. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Nevada by way of Reno. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Nevada. Everybody inside of the great city of Reno. And now before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also... Keep these stories coming. Now, you all know also, today is what? Yes, not Thursday Thursday. That was yesterday. Today is Freaky Friday. And you all already know it goes down on the Trey King Show on Freaky Friday. And this story right here has freak written all over it. Now, a weightlifting competition took place inside the great city of Reno, Nevada, that is, where we have a Vicky Piper, 57 years old, who scraped smash the damn competition. And people are looking around. Like they are bewildered or like they are amazed or something like that. But you got to ask yourself this right here. Why are people so damn surprised that Vicky Piper went out there and broke those damn records and also smashed the weightlifting competition? Because you have a man who identifies a woman competing against biological women. Let me slow it down and say it a little bit slower for you all. Biological women. You get that? So a man is going to be the woman naturally at any kind of sport, basically. That's what I'm trying to say right there. I mean, name one sport that you get an able-bodied man and an able-bodied woman together and make them play that sport and watch you come out on top. Who you think going to come out on top? The man, most likely, most of the time, unless he's just a sorry-ass dude. But at the same time, you got to ask yourself this right here. How did we get to this point in life where we have transgenders competing in Female sports, women's sports, whether it's high school or whether it's professional sports. Now, for those who remember, I did a video just a couple of weeks ago out of Massachusetts where we had a high school basketball player who identifies as transgender hurt four other female players on his basketball court, as you all see this little snippet right here. Now, you got to ask yourself this right here. How would you feel if there was you out there born a female competing against a boy who was born a male? You get that? How would you feel? I mean, think about that also. How in the hell did we get to this point? That's what I'm trying to get at right there. But at the same time, just think if that was your daughter out there or if that was you out there and you having to compete against somebody of the opposite sex. I mean, where do we draw the line at? But the sad thing about it, you would think that more people would speak out against this mess. And true enough, you have a lot of men standing on their square speaking out against this mess. But at the same time, you would think it would be more women speaking out. But no, the women only worry about celebrities and who buying this and who buying that until these men want to come inside these bathrooms with them. Just like we had this huge uproar in the media just last week when we had a male transgender inside of a female's locker room, inside the female's bathroom, that is, changing his uniform and whatnot, and also shaving. Now, women spoke out against that. So the only time these women most speak out, these females, is when these men want to come inside the restroom with them. But at the same time, you got to keep that same energy when they want to compete against you in these sports. Because as you all can see, it is no damn competition. Because God made people this way. He made male and he made female. Women are blessed with certain things. Men are blessed with certain things. But there's no way you can take a strong-ass man or a boy and put them against a woman or a girl. We are built different. I don't care what you all say or how you try to dress it up. It's the truth. Now, look here. I'm not up here trying to make nobody transphobic. I'm not trying to make nobody homophobic, even though this is not about gay people or anything like that. This is about transgender who are crossing the line trying to compete in female sports. Now, look here. You can be what you want to be in life. Let me say that again. You can be what you want to be in life because grown folks is going to do what they want to do. But at the same time, it should not come at the liberty and the cost of somebody else. And the people who are paying the cost is who? Females, yes. Women and girls are paying a huge cost. But at what point do you all say enough is enough? Now, you would think that these women who competed in this competition against Vicky Piper, who happened to be 57 years old, and no, I'm not going to say how old Vicky Piper look in the face because it's not no bash video. It's basically just a video trying to enlighten you all. Now, you would think that these women would not even want to compete against no man. But at the same time, how do you all sit there and allow this to happen? Ain't no way in hell I would be just sitting there. Now, the way Vicky Piper walked out there on that stage, you already knew 
Vicky Piper was about that life, was about that business. Back stiff as hell, just walking straight up there just like that. Real slow. And I knew it was about to go down. And that event that you all see Vicky lifting that weight in, that's called a clean and jerk. When you bring the weight up to your chest, and then you pull it over your head and you lock it in just like that. And the way Vicky dropped that damn weight and then held it down with the hand, mm, 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 that would have broke my damn wrist right there. So they let you know automatically Vicky is hella strong. And Vicky, I know you'll be on Instagram and all that. If you happen to see this video, please don't whoop my ass. I'm just up here trying to light the people. Matter of fact, my channel members put me up to do this video. So get mad at them and whoop their ass. Do not whoop your boy ass because as you can tell, I am very light-skinned, and I bruise easy. You get what I'm saying? Have me look like the LGBT QRS flag in a damn face. But at the same time, you would think that these females would stop competing against these men, just like at this high school basketball game. And the way that you make a stand is that you make an example. For instance, just like those girls in Massachusetts that was playing against that transgender player that hurt them and also was snagging rebounds and shooting jump shots, like it wasn't nothing. If those same females, those same girls, those high school girls that is, if they would have walked off that damn court or just sat down and said, we're not competing against no body who was born a male, no matter what you want to identify as. But at what point do we as a people say, you know, enough is enough because things are getting clearly out of hand. And once again, this is not a bash video. This is a true video. But I understand nobody want to hear the truth this day and age because it's all cute until it affects you or someone else you love. But at the same time, we have to take a stand as a people and demand better as a society. But anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story, and I am going to get my opinion, all of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, man identifies as woman and smashes national women's weightlifting competition. And everybody acting like they so damn surprised. I'm not surprised at all. I mean, once again, look at that video right there. Do you see how Vicky walking out there just slow with it? That lets you know Vicky about that damn life. And Vicky, if you're ever in Dallas or Houston and you catch your boy slipping, please, please, sister, do not, do not hurt your boy. Because I am just reporting the damn news. And let's continue. A transgender weightlifter has sparked outrage after winning her first national competition. And people going to say in the comment section, they already typing right now, Trey, that's a man. Stop, stop calling him a her. That's a him. And you are right. But guess what, though? I am reading the story. So if you happen to hear me say her, just know the story is saying that. That's not how I feel. Anyway, it says a transgender weightlifter has sparked outrage after winning her first national competition, beating the women who finished around by a combined 37 pounds. That's a lot of damn pounds right there. And look at this chart right here. Vicky was smashing every damn competition like it was nothing. You feel me? And y'all women, y'all sat there through this mess? Oh, hell no. I would have got my ass up. And went my ass straight to the damn mall and went and bought me a purse or went and bought me something else, a dress or something, and took my ass on home. Because ain't no way in hell I'm going to sit there and watch a man smash the damn records. And guess what? Why did y'all even show up? What was the purpose of even going to this damn event when you know it damn well you ain't got the strength of a damn man? Now, look here. I know the state of Minnesota passed a law just last year where they stated that trans athletes can't compete in powerlifting competition only if they take hormone therapy for at least two years. But clearly, these people need hormone therapy for way more than, damn, two years. How about 20 or 30 years? But guess what, though? Just because you take hormone therapy does not change who you really are. Maybe it may make you a little weaker or whatnot. I don't know. I don't take the shit. But at the same time, I don't understand how that works or whatnot. So can somebody please explain to me in the comment section how hormone therapy works? And if that's the damn case, guess what? Y'all need to up the ante a lot more of the dosage or whatnot because Vicky is strong as hell. And now to the star of the hour, Vicky Piper, 57 years old. And Vicky, I'm not going to make fun of how old you look in the face because this is not that type of video. And furthermore, the way you walked out on that stage and grabbed them damn waist and lifted it up, you have no problem lifting my ass up and chunking me some damn well. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Vicky Piper, 57 years old, took first place in both her age and also weight groups among women earlier this month at the Masters National Championship in Reno, Nevada, says the damn news station. And you know what? That's exactly what Vicky was supposed to do, take first place. You get it? Because y'all going to learn one damn day that it's all fun and games until it gets real. And things done got real in this world. But at the same time, you have people acting like they are shocked. 
And my thing is this right here. What are you shocked about? Because y'all allow any damn thing to go on in this world, especially in this country. But I've noticed one thing, because I have not seen it in other countries in the world. And if you all have seen this, please leave a link below so I can go check it out. We are the only country in the world that allow all this damn mess to take place. And we wonder why our country is going to hell in a handbasket. You get what I'm saying? Because we allow every damn thing. You feel me? And then the moment we try to say something, guess what? We are being transphobic, we are being homophobic, we are being dysphobic or deathphobic. But guess what, though? At the cost of our own damn liberty. That's what happens when you remain silent. That's why you must say something. And now let's continue. Vicky Piper lifted 123 pounds in the snatch and also 156 pounds in the clean and jerk for a combined 279 pounds. Damn, that's a lot of damn weight. Woo! Which bested her closest competitor, Krista Dumbush, by a combined 37 pounds the news reported. And that's what the hell Vicky was supposed to do. I mean, damn, Christy Dunbush did not stand a chance. I think Christy Dunbush was the damn uh, champion for the last two years on her damn row. Vicky came on that stage and smashed all of that. You get what I'm saying? No more hoop dreams, no more weightlifting dreams for them females. But ma'am, why did y'all not say something? Why did y'all even go on stage and allow this to happen? What y'all should have done is set an example. Not try to attack Vicky, because Vicky will whoop all y'all ass. What y'all should have done is just got up and walked off every last woman on that stage and left Vicky on that stage by herself. And guess what? That would have woke up the world right there. People are like, okay, people are taking a stand. You see, that's the point. People are just waiting for certain people to take a stand, and then the rest will follow. But at the same time, guess what? When you remain silent, that may make somebody else remain silent, because they're like, why would I say something or do something if nobody else is going to do it? But you have to understand this right here. Men and women are not the same. I'm sure a lot of you all know that. And basically, it's like this. Look here. You can say that you're a this or that. That's on you. It's like saying that your Chrysler 300 is a Bentley and you put a Bentley sign on it. But guess what, though? Where was it manufactured at? It was manufactured at what? At a Chrysler Corporation plant, right? So the same thing with a man. If a man identified as a woman, you got to ask this right here. Where was you manufactured at? What was you created? How was you created? You was created as what? A boy or a girl. So if you were born a boy, guess what? You were a boy. If you were born a girl, you are a girl. But they're trying to teach your kids in school that a lot of them are born in the wrong body. So you all think about that and let's close up. It says, the weightlifter celebrated the victory on Instagram where she wrote, first national weightlifter meet for me, adding, hashtag trans women or real women. And guess what, Vicky? If you feel that way, you feel that way, boo-boo. I am not trying to change your thought process. I just have a problem with men competing in women's sports. You get what I'm saying? And I am not the only one. But Vicky also says in closing, and we're going to close on this note right here. Vicky says, thank you, U.S. Weightlifting, for hosting such a well thought out and supportive event here in Reno, Nevada. Type of role on Instagram. And Vicky, I know you be on Instagram, so if you see this video, please don't come at your boy. But you all let me know what you think about this video. And once again, do you all think that men and boys should be competing against girls and women. Think about that also. Let me know what you all think in the comment section for real because I don't understand how people sit there and allow this to happen because I know one damn thing and thank God I am born a man. I don't want to be anything else. You feel me? Because women go through enough shit on their own. But I know one thing. If I was a female and I played sports and they try to make me play against males, guess what I would do? Me along with whoever else I can recruit, I would gladly stop playing. I would gladly resign i would not even play into that mess right there because that right there sets you up for failure and also you got to ask yourself this which is very important also is it fair that because you want to be identified as trans is it fair to these girls and these women that you men or boys want to come play against them but also think about this before i close these transgenders they don't want to compete against males. They want to compete against who? Yes, females, girls, and women. Think about that also. So the next time you sit up here and try to go alone and get alone and sit up here and turn a blind eye to stuff like this, guess what? Sooner or later, it will affect you, especially in this world we live in. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this video. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me. And we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, y'all stay blessed and have a great day. And I'll see y'all soon on the next Trey King show. And guess what? I'm out.